Bonjour. Morning. Bonjour. Here's a new vlog. We are trying to find an Instagram background. We found it, but it kind of failed because it's the Quite lighting funny. is terrible. So this is just another day in the life as influencers in Paris. I feel like every time we try and get a photo, something goes wrong. Yeah. But we have really, we're, especially with the Eiffel. Yeah, we, we have really bad luck recently with our photos. But so it's fine, we're gonna find a really cute back because the full team is find a way. There's so many nice buildings if these fail. We always find our way, so we're we always find a way back home. But we're about to walk past Correct. And Correct's our favourite place, but we're trying to be good and save money so we've not gone for like the hot chocolate Wait, guys, and the this morning I ate cereal with milk. It was so sour, it was a hundred percent off. And it went straight through me, if you know what I mean. No, d Grace, that's TMI. Did that to save money. We are trying to save money because this weekend was so spenny. Like we spent like, I don't even want to like know how much we spent. So we're really like, so we're by just- Is it giving safe? No, hold it. Okay, we're gonna show you our looks. The Eiffel Tower is right there. We actually ended up yeah. getting quite good pictures. So we're happy. We're really happy. Okay, I'll hold on to it. You do your look. Okay, look. so this is my OOTD. You could have found, you could have caught it on TikTok, but if you don't follow our TikTok, which you should, I've got this Garni coat on, which is like my new favourite thing for spring, and then some little shorts, some little boots. That's it, really. That's the look. That's the look. Look at the tower, though. Oh. Never gets old. The tree doesn't. We've just made the two gear TikTok. Oh my god, the don't even care. Fashion. Quick, Grace, show your look. My, my jacket's from under the story. She's got this weird. This is so Montana. Grace. I love it. The battery's flashing, guys. What a fail. But it's fine, we'll talk to you in a bit. Guys, we're taking a walk along the Seine and Grace just said to me, there's basically right, on this bench, Bond, like one of James Bond's like co-workers write something in the book and then leave it for him to read. But Grace thinks that it's gonna be like- Because it's a James Bond book, I'm like- You are right, I mean, what, what could the message? Oh. <laughs> no, not there actually being a message. Chris Hunter. Oh, will, will you marry me? <gasps> What? Cry. Is this part of a proposal then? Are we messing it up? This must be. This must What's be. What's the other one? Oh, it's the same thing. Will you marry me? Oh my god. Oh my god. This god. must be like a romantic. <laughs> 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 Is Vic and Sarah? You know, you know. This way or this way? This way. This way. Oh. Oh, okay, because everyone is saying something different. Oh okay, guys. We, we are having. having Sorry to interrupt. Go for it. We're having dinner. We're watching Love Island. Dinner's done. Grace has got our bow toast. We're basically just using up everything that's in the fridge. So that's yes. why I've got the most before random the dinner. Shop. Before our big little shop on Wednesday. I feel like we're kind of having uni vibes. Yeah. Like tomorrow, I've got to use up a whole thing of couscous. So good luck to me. <laughs> and we've booked two nice dinners for this weekend. <gasps> we're really excited. And an Italian. We're both, both really wholesome. Haven't been to. So yeah, we're really excited. We're really excited. Probably the most excited I've been actually, actually for the food. Agreed. The other places we went to for the glam vibes, these are for like actual food. Yeah, like, the other ones we love, but they weren't known for their food. Hey. Hey. It's Tuesday. Mm -hmm. It's already Tuesday, and we are off to a cafe. Undecided what cafe yet because of photos, but we're in these really cute outfits. With I feel like we're just so ready for spring. Like both of our outfits. Oh. Are so springy. Yeah, we just want it um, to be warm, but it's not. Just two pants, fur. I've got a cap on today because I've got a really bad hair day. We all have, everyone has those days. So yeah, we're gonna head off. We've got a half an hour walk ahead of us, and which is light work compared to our usual. Yeah. So we did an hour and forty-five minute walk. And I guess so. we'll see you there. So we've sat down. We've gone for maggots because Cafe de Flore was last week, and yeah, we're looking forward to our breakfast. We've got food, we're so hungry. It looks really Can't good. wait to tuck in. Okay, so update. You guys know our favorite tick, like we're just obsessed with her on TikTok, Audrey Peters. And we're like, we've seen her once, and we didn't say hi because we were too starstruck. So should we say hi today? What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the toilet. And hope that she's in there. We, if we see her, we'll go up to her. But if not, then that's fake. Because guys, she came out, and then went straight back in. And we don't know if it's because we don't know why that happened, so... Well, I really hope she's... <laughs> no, we just love her. Like, she's like our favorite TikTok. And what are the chances that she's actually from, like, New York? Like, what are the chances? Okay, Grace has found a new dream handbag. Can you see it? 
it's sparkly. sparkly. Gucci. And are you actually tempted or was you just saying it? It We'd was three grand, which to me is a lot for a tiny, it's a very tiny bag. But I am also like, how often do you see something you love that much? Guys, I went, <gasps> like, and I ran. Her, her, like she walked, don't run, no, it's run, don't walk. <laughs> we, we keep saying walk, don't We always run. say walk, don't run, the we're saying it's run, don't walk. It's run, don't walk. But yeah, basically. But it was giving run, don't walk. Like I literally like, all the breath left my body. <laughs> she was like, <gasps> it was, I was giving that TikTok trend where they go. Yeah, uh, like that is what happened. I've never, I'm not like the biggest, I've never liked anything new from Gucci, apart from that bag. And he said it's really rare. And also we never and normally- say that? I don't know, but I feel like he went very new. So obviously it's like the new it but bag. I've seen that, that sparkly Gucci in shoes and I was obsessed with them in LA. But I've not seen it in a bag. And also that bag, it's like unique, but it's not too unique where it wouldn't go with anything. Like it would it go would, with everything. It would literally make your outfits. Oh, it's incredible. <sighs> I'm gonna have to really think about that, guys. But I also really want a Chanel. And so that three grand I'm could kind go of like to, that could go towards a Chanel. Another thing as well, you have got a very similar vintage bag in yeah, that pattern. And then I would almost sell. I actually you could sell, sell that. that to, I'd sell my other one. Yeah, you'd rather. Oh. That Who'd would thought, that everyone? would make your every outfit like oh. <gasps> bakery. Oh. Okay, we found this little vintage store, and Grace is trying on. She Who's tried on this one from Celine, and now this one from Celine. I'm team black, but this might look really cool on. I like this. Thing. I feel like it's a bit different. It's a lot more unique than the black. I do get your point. Look at the buttons. Obviously not with this kind of look. <laughs> yeah. I would do like a shirt dress. Shirt or a shirt dress. Guys, the purchase has been made. We can't really hear. But the, she got I the bought the cardigan. The Guys, we're in a daze and we're in McDonald's. I'm shaking. We're in a daze. Basically. We were we already walked an hour today. And we were like, oh, we'll buy our PO box. So let's pick up my big, I've got this massive blender. There's a strike, no tubes. There's this like massive protest thing. No tubes. So we're like, we're gonna have to walk an hour home. Either spend 20 quid on an Uber, but we were like, do you know what? My top is dripping, with, like, it's wet. I would rather not spend 20 quid on an Uber. So we have just walked an hour with like we're really heavy ass blender. And we've had to stop McFlurry Fanta. McFlurry. McFlurry. So. This is Lotus and chocolate. I'm gonna get that one day. So good. Today was my day like this. I needed something this juicy. This is wet. Like, I'm, I'm not even joking, guys. They also have Dane, M&M. Do they have Maltese or? Maltese. No, no, Kit Kat. Or was it Kit Kat? But I thought Lotus. But it had raspberry ice cream. I've never seen, oh really? Yeah. I've never seen Lotus before, like at home, so. <laughs> what a treat. Hey guys, so we got home. I look crazy, but we got home finally. We've had showers. I thought I would unbox the cardigan for you. I'm so happy with my purchase. If you want to know what the shop's called, it's called Dressing Factory, and they had like such cute vintage like Celine pieces and nice handbags. I don't know. I've been saying to Grace, I want to start like filling my wardrobe with staple basics that like are a bit different like that no one else has well obviously someone else would have this but like just you know something a bit different like a, a vintage designer piece and i saw this celine cardigan bearing in mind i love celine at the moment like celine's like having its heyday i've got the sunglasses i've got the belt and now i have a cardigan to have the famous like celine horse and i just put it on and i was like this fits me so well Grace was like, Grace was like a saleswoman. She's like, Grace, you've wear everything, it go for so much. And it was, okay, it was 250 pounds, 280 euros, but I spend that on Jeff Avenue. So I'm like, for a Celine cardigan, and if I was to buy like something from Celine new, like I was looking at their jackets, their jackets are like 2,000 pounds. So I actually don't think this is that bad. I'm really like envisioning different outfits. I feel like I could do like jeans with it. I could do like a little skater skirt and have it over the skater skirt. I could put it over a shirt. I could put 
could I have a t-shirt? There's so much I could wear this with. Just made dinner. I've got avocado. It's like our last day before little. I've got avocado, tomatoes, potatoes, and an egg. I was going to have parma ham, but I'm a bit worried it's gone off. So yeah, this is my dins and I'll have another snack later. <laughs> so we've had our dins and we're currently watching Love Island. This is like, like how we have to watch it. That's how desperate we are on the phone. Poor quality. It's better than nothing. And then we're gonna watch Emily in Paris after. Hey guys, it is, what day is it? Wednesday, it's raining so we can do Lidl today. Today's Lidl day, our favorite day of the week. You know what? We actually really look forward to going to Lidl. I know that might sound silly, but there's just something about like going to a foreign supermarket and just being able to like buy your weekly shop. It's really exciting. And do you know what I love is that you guys really appreciated our grocery haul last time. Like in the comments, you were like, "No, we want to see your grocery haul." So we'll what do another grocery haul. Today, guys. Yeah, yeah. Grace bought a blender, so she's gonna make us. I bought a blender. I I'm just gonna buy the same things I bought last week, really. Hey guys. So we're back from Lidl's and we have, we're, you know what, we're, we were slightly disappointed today because there's a few bits they didn't have. We got a fresh, we got a fresh baguette on the way home and it's like warm still. I got English breakfast tea, it's only 70p for 25 bags which I thought was really good. Carrot, eggs, I'm going to have scrambled eggs on toasted baguette for lunch. Um, rockets. Chicken, which I think I'm gonna have tonight. Some fish, lemons, and tomatoes. That's the haul. Grace, oh, over to you. Haul. So I've got quite a lot because I've got a new blender. So I've got about a million carrots because they're like my favourite thing to have in my juice. Eggs, bacon, grilled, sausage, loads of oranges. So again, I love oranges. Cucumber, grapefruit. Broccoli, raisins, raisins. They're my favourite thing to snack on. Yeah, I love them. Oh my god, raisins are my worst nightmare. Coleslaw with carrot and lettuce. Because I like something to put on my salad and I've run out. I ate all my couscous. I've got a mango. I literally love mango in my smoothie. The last thing I got was this caramel chocolate. I'm going to try some on camera if you like. Mmm. Can you try some? Do you like dime things? Or dime, people say? Yeah, I like dime. It's exactly what it tastes like. Mmm. That was so nice. Chuck with that. Why just chip my teeth on it? I think that's so Mmm, it's very salty. I love when they put salt in chocolate. Same. That's our haul, everyone. So we're going to have some lunch. We'll catch you after. We're heading to Zara because we have some things to return that just didn't fit properly. It just was not the vibe. So we're gonna return this, have a little look around because we kind of need outfits for the weekend. Well, I do. Because, and even for the week, like I feel like I need some more springy clothes. We've just been found this supermarket called Monoprix and Lidl was getting tinned off because it's so much better. And I she got loads of bags. We have found sweets. sweets. Behind us is actually Mare's maggots. Let's do snackles. I've got Orangina. Grace has an obsession. She's not actually a sweet girl, but Orangina are my favourite. Let me try one. These are so good. We saw a girl have these, and I'm not sort of thinking. Okay. Is it giving? My dream sweet. I always pick the orange sweets out of a packet of sweets. She does. The fact that I've got a whole pack of orange is just stunning. And they taste like your favourite drink. Try one. Okay. We're just sat down eating sweets now. Guys, if you watched our last vlog, or the vlog before that actually, I was going on about Mexican hot sauce. I have found it. Sriracha. So I think I'm going to have this tonight with salad and chicken. Like, I am just so chuffed about this. You don't even know. I got new pesto because my other one went mouldy. This vlog has literally been a grocery haul. You're probably really bored. Dinner is served and it's Love Island time. Grace got a veggie burger. I've got chicken pesto salad. We are very excited to munch. We're going to munch Love Island. And Not munch. Third date. Grace is going on a date tonight. She always goes out so late, like way past my bedtime. I know. <laughs> my bedtime. <laughs> 
that time of the week has come again when Grace goes and I sit at home listening to slipping through my fingers. Actually, <laughs> Fifty Shades. <laughs> I'm watching Fifty Shades of Grey, but I actually really can't be bothered. Why is the camera on me like this? I don't know. Put it back onto the mirror. Because, because I look like this. You're slaying. She's gonna watch. 50, she's never seen Fifty Shades. I don't know how. Why have I not watched it? Because it's a shit film. It's such a bad film. I just never have gotten round to it. But I feel like. But there was six of them made, so it must be good. Six? Well, probably a bit less than six. I think there was like three or four. But they're, they're Fifty all, Shades they're Darker, so Fifty bad. Shades Freed, Fifty Shades... I think that's the three of them. Oh, is that it? But you go through like the wedding and then they have a baby. You've anything. got the Rita Ora song, you've got the, <laughs> the Ellie Goulding song. Well. What was the other one? I don't wanna live. Fucking The Zane Weeknd. and Taylor. The Weeknd. You make Carla. it hard like it's Is that Fifty Shades, that song? Oh my god, it's had really good songs. I see nobody, nobody. Because you earned it. I think it might be this Go film. Go work oh, it. Oh, it's the most recent one. But that's the best song. The Ellie Golden Go one. Work it. Must be the first, that's really That's old. the one where they get married, I think. I think there must be four movies then. Oh, that's when they get married. Guys, I'm going to go in eight minutes. We've got to end this vlog clip. Okay. Good luck. We'll, we'll update we'll you. guys tomorrow. Bye. <sighs> Guys, we're at the Good Emily morning. and Paris bakery. We're about to debrief Grace's date. We've got like drawings for each other. Yeah, so we're, we're gonna, gonna but yeah, we've got, Grace's got this jam. I'm really, I kind of wish I got that now. And I've got a I've got almond croissant. Oh my God. Whoa. The, the best thing I've ever eaten is that. Thing. And apple juice, Grace's got, on. she's wanting almond croissant from Emily. Yes. Let me film your reaction, because I feel like she has been wanting almond and croissant. And also I try almond croissants from everywhere. So I feel like I know a good one. Mm. Out of ten, that is a really good one. Good. Happy That's to one of the best it. I've ever had. Oh, as it should be, guys. If you want good, affordable stuff, just come here. It's so cheap. We've been to shopping. I just bought a dress. I'll show you it properly when I get home. That's the dress I bought. It's been this really cool store. Grace wants me to get this blue set, but it's a hundred pounds. Grace is getting trying on some blazers. Oh, Morning. So today we're actually going to go out and do more shopping because we've only touched like. We've literally scraped the, what's the saying, sides. We've scraped the sides of the vintage shops. I've written loads down. There's like some really good ones like quite near us. It's on our walk to um, and other stories and mango. I'm sorry for not vlogging yesterday. We're only going to find our camera and we thought we left it in. It was only last night. You didn't really miss much. We just made dinner and, I, oh yeah, I thought I'd left it in a vintage shop when we did the clip of me trying on the thing. That was insane. Um, yeah, we didn't really miss much. All we did was we were going to planning going for drinks, but we were like, do you know what? We'd rather just go for drinks tomorrow night after dinner yeah, or before we dinner. Going. So the only vintage thing I bought was this, and it's a bit different for me because it's got colour on. <laughs> but I had a vision of wearing this in Sorrento with like because I've got a holiday with Sorrento with some of those like pointed um, Matilda. Dress. I want to buy some. I'm hoping the vintage shops they have the pointed vintage shoes but this dress is so jerf um it's got like all these pretty roses on it and it's quite long actually which i like and it's got a frill on the bottom grace actually picked it up first <laughs> and i was like trying to convince her to get it because i was like this is so cute and colorful and she didn't want it <laughs> so i was like do you know what i'm a bit too obsessed with it so i'm gonna buy it i bought this jacket which I, am i like do i love it or do i like <laughs> the slow motion not? when you showed it you were like because it's a jacket <laughs> It's got a massive rose, rosette on it. And it's, that burp was not me by the way. Don't get it twisted, that was Grace. <laughs> um, it's got like, this like, I just really like it. And I feel like I could style it with jeans and like heels maybe. The only thing that I'm like not keen on is the rose, but I, I like the rose. I think it adds a bit of pizzazz. I've got this corset top that looks like a trench coat. I loved it. And and, I'm the up for a bit as well. Yeah, this is like what I want, like really want. I think it's more of a day look than a night look. Mm. Do you not think? Yeah. With like jeans and boots. I was going to wait this weekend, but I'm thinking, no. I'm thinking save it. This just plain corset with like a lacy bit. It's this brown jacket, which I need to try on again, but 
I really like chocolate brown and I think the buttons are really cool and it's very like high quality so we're happy with that that's my haul Grace over to you the vintage shop we went to it was do you remember the name was the one you got your thing in I actually can't remember the name I feel like if I look at the rest I was saying get them because this one the stuff I'm about to show you guys I don't think the, the shop even had a name but it's like the cheapest vintage store I've ever been in like everything was like 10 or under it was so good so I got this blazer which I just thought was really cool it's got like butterflies and flowers on it I just thought this would be really cool for the summer and then I got this which Grace hates this but this is tartan blazer I just think it's so cool again 10 euros this little stripy french girl top Caribbean. and then I got this jacket which I'm either gonna love or hate when I actually put it on but I've got like I really like yellow at the moment I've got yellow jeans but a yellow jumper and I found this blazer and it has yellow and brown tweed in it so yeah that's either gonna be a love or hate but I feel like I won't know until I try and style it so that's the haul and who knows you might be getting another one later because some of these vintage shops I found looks like actually sick we found another vintage shop and it's called come on Eileen and we actually have tried to find this when we moved here but we couldn't and it's the coolest shop yeah like we've got all these shoes all these chanel shoes it's so cool you trying something on no you're just hot guys we're home it's like a blizzard out there happened, but we both just have like no energy i think every day we've been doing like fifteen thousand steps and it's like really caught up to us and also it's really quite breezy and oh we just God, it's so we've kind of done enough we did like four vintage shops and zara and other stories so we did quite a lot of shopping now we've come home we're going to watch some outer banks and then we probably relax and then we're up to probably nice. start getting ready nice. yeah we've got some like really nice french food and they, they're famous for chocolate mousse the place we're going to you've probably seen Fresh it on favorite. like oh the chocolate mousse looks insane so we're so we're yeah. like, actually so excited we're really excited tonight guys we're going out we're going it's out friday tonight. we're going out tonight it's friday so we've friday. gone for like you know what normally we're in like all black like we've actually gone for quite different looks very different so looks. grace has got like a gray this dress on which is zara zara blazer and boots which i've never worn boots to the club so boots with the fur i've never worn a long skirt to the club i'm not wearing this scarf this scarf's coming off but it's i for thought dinner. I thought it'd be cute for dinner. We're going and, um, to classy French, so we want to go classy. Yeah. Trashy. But like, we want to look cool. That's the vibe we've gone for. Yeah, we don't want to, like, sometimes you guys th know we like to go a bit extra, but that's not tonight. tonight Tonight's is like, understated. yeah, tonight's restaurant's like cool girl French vibes. Yeah. So that's so, what we've gone for with well, the looks. Tried, correct. Yeah, I mean, you're going to be like, what? But yeah, we've tried. That was our attempt. So yeah, we'll, we'll vlog on my phone because we'll the camera can't come. But yeah, we'll see you. We're ordering dessert and we're going to get their famous chocolate mousse because like, that is what they're famous for. We have but to. if we fancy another one afterwards, we're going to try something else. Yeah, they've got churros. The dessert's are really cheap. Guys, you're not going to believe this chocolate mousse. We're going to try it. Y'all already know it. we're going for a hungover croissant. Y'all already know. You know, you know the drill, guys? Last night was so fun. One of my favourite nights in Paris. And we didn't so even go fun. clubbing. It wasn't we needed. We didn't even go clubbing. We, do you know what? I felt a bit sick after the chocolate mousse. So yeah, like, we came back from the restaurant. We came out the restaurant at half one. And then we tried to go to a club and the queue. We actually got two insane. bottles of wine. Yeah. Because it was so cheap. But the queue was insane. And because usually we get to clubs at like 12 and we went there yes. at half one it was just insane so we didn't go in but i recommend that restaurant so much if you come to paris like, it's, so, it's so french and it's really cheap and it's just good vibes a like, bottle of provence wine was 20 euros we are trying a new bakery today in the city again trying new things we're not going back to emily no we're not allowed it's called boulangerie chevalier we saw we like to spot, we like to hunt on our walk we saw like, it on our walk and we were like holy shit hungover bakeries to go to i don't even know what i'm gonna get you know no. i really love to get a brioche like chocolate brioche because you're I, in a chocolate mood i yeah but i shouldn't be because that chocolate mousse last night guys i ate that the whole plate of chocolate mousse i'm not a chocolate mousse like this turd yeah grace ordered this hair thing it as was, well how good was that it was really good 
but like the chocolate mousse was is like what they're famous for and like oh my god it's so good but i literally sat there and i ate like the whole plate it looked like bullshit it looked like poo <laughs> no but the chocolate mousse is what goes like viral on tiktok so like what they're it's famous what they're for, for like, that's what made me want to book it because i was like grace can we go and get this chocolate mousse yeah so she had to eat like this massive plate of chocolate mousse on her own i mean i, I, I loved like it mousse. i loved it but like no one should eat that much chocolate mousse and i did also <laughs> Daffin ravioli. Oh my god. That's what I got. It you was guys? like the only word I like, I'm just gonna say it, it was like orgasmic. She said that. It's the only word I can like. We use dipped to describe it with it. This, this massive forget they give you, which is like the best bread I've ever had. It was and it was like, 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 like it probably was the most the best, most cheesiest thing I've ever a, had. It was like a cheesy I don't know what it was. Cheese almost it was. like more of a dip than a ravioli really. But you what tried did, the I didn't you actually get to have the, what was in the ravioli the pasta? It was like spinach. More cheese. No, it was like spinachy, oh. which was really nice. And then on top, it was just like melted. What cheese was that? Like camembert? Like I don't, I'm probably a mixture of all different types oh my God, of cheese. It was the best thing we've ever had. It was so like heavenly. Yeah. I do feel like one day we could end up being food bloggers. Same. Because like I like, like we just could give two perspectives. You, me, I. Give yeah, it yeah. And then we always order desserts as well. Like desserts that actually bring or what bring me to the restaurant. Like if the dessert menu is bad, I'm not going. No, I agree. So like and bread baskets. Oh my god, and bread baskets. Guys, we could be food bloggers one day. Hi we'll guys, sorry for this shit view, but we just want to show you what we got. I also want to. It was really stuff. stressful. We got. I think you might actually I got a pistachio croissant. We guys, it it was so stressful. They was queuing. It was kind of like a last minute, like okay, I'm gonna get that. Okay. It was like decide what you want or die. Grace got a brioche. I got a chocolate brioche, and then we're sharing a jam cookie. Yeah. We're really so excited. excited. But yeah, this is our setup, our Saturday meal. We're gonna try. Like, should we try the first bite on camera? Yeah, sure. Wow. One word, wow. And we're trying. I'm scared. Yeah. Going out to Din's. With our looks. We're really excited. We're so hungry. We're going Big for an Italian. Italian. Yeah! Okay, we're gonna update you after we've eaten, but we've got food, but it's not on the place we thought. Food. It's only that we didn't have a booking, even though we did book. Don't go there. They, yeah, we called them like a week ago. And they were like, we don't know you, you're not allowed. They, they were like, sorry, they were really we can't fit you in. So we're at this place like near the Eiffel Tower called Delino. We've got truffle pizza and pasta. Carbonara with We're at McDonald's, hungover, where we always are. We live here. F we find ourselves in a McDonald's every day. We found like our favourite club in Paris, so. Which hat? Yes. Oh, guys, we've got McFlurries. Or a fruit bag. McFlurry or a fruit bag. I've got Dame and Grace has Lotus. Because I got it with peanut butter sauce. And they've been really hell. not stingy with the sauce, this which I love. Insane. You'd never get this in England. No. Ever. Taste, Taste test. test. They're kind of melting a little bit. Grace hasn't had one yet. I had one mm. the other day. Mm. That peanut butter sauce. Literally scrummed in the yum yum. So good. That is insane, guys. We also had like Kit Kat ball. Do you know what? Marshmallow. You lot in England are losers. <laughs> <laughs> we get Biscoff, we get Kit Kat, we get Dime. Dime. Or is it Dame? I'm not sure. Know. Anyway, we're going to enjoy these. We're in the park. Loving life on the bench. We're just watching Outer Banks. We're very hungover. Um, I'm not hungover. No, to be fair, I'm not hungover. I'm just tired. <gasps> we'll start a new vlog tomorrow. Monday. What have we got planned for next week? We're gonna do a day in Mama. Depends Mart. on the weather. Um, that's all we've got really in mind. It's all very weather dependent. Um, that's it really, because this week was well, it wasn't fashion week. That was last week. It's going so quick. Mm -hmm. Um, but we hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Yes. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.